Hello everybody, my name is Katem and welcome back for another video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're going to continue this series, boys. Uh, last video we went ahead and uh, did a bunch of stuff. Uh, explored a little bit and I did explore on my own free time as well. Uh, and uh, did as much things as I thought I could. Up uh, updated or unlocked a couple of fast traveling points. At least the most I could do. I think I unlocked everything I could uh, fast traveling wise, boys. Now, I didn't do too much of the mysteries and the wealth and stuff like that. I might be tempted to just take a look on them. But I don't think they're really that worth looking into. Maybe it's just me, boys. I'm not, like, super excited so far. I, I do know that once you get to England, uh, you probably get a couple... Uh, a, it's like an actual Assassin's Creed game where you got, like, a lot of stuff to do on your own free time. But as of right now in Norway... I don't feel like I have too much to do, so I'm kind of stuck here doing the main mission. But it, it's fine. Uh, let's just use my burn really quick. We're going to figure out where the mission is, the main mission. So this is where it is. Uh, can I find out where the, the guy is in particular? Here's the thing this year with the board. It's a, a lot uh, more difficult, boys, to figure out where he is. Like, where's the guy we're looking for? Imagine the... Uh, like it's over there, I guess. I can't. It doesn't show me exactly who's who, so I gotta figure it out on my own. It's kind of, it's kind of bad actually. Oh shit! What the hell was that? Was what the that camera, boys? What about him? Oh, that's a drinking sequence. Never mind, boys. I'm not, uh, not doing anything about this. You've just won your heart's desire, Abor. Yet, by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorin is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorin is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. We should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. You want me to join your brotherhood? Or is this how your brotherhood operates? Actually, am I going to ask? Do you want me to join your brotherhood, my guy? Would be great. So I could officially be normalized with that blade, right? Is I still have that blade. I feel like I don't deserve it. Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, your allegiance hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. You know, Batsim, if you want me to join your brotherhood, just say it. I will. No worries about that. I've been joining your brotherhood for like 15 years. You don't need to, to be careful about that one. Is an exercise Let's go. I don't know about Bassin though. Feels like uh, he might be the grandmaster to be honest, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's uh, put our cloak on because he's doing it, so might as well as well. Okay. So he's gonna teach us how to basically uh, be a basic assassin, which is one thing that was missing for the previous games, boys. 
it uh, they threw that off and they bring it back in here where you get to be in the crowds and stuff like that and actually you know use the crowds as your environments and stuff like that finally they bring that back that's literally what the assassin's creed was all about and they they got rid of that for some reason now finally it's back at least let's go i mean assassin's creed is not about the parkour boys everybody knows that it's about uh how you assassinate people how you get through uh, various locations uh, and how you f uh, outthink the, the, the your enemy all right let's see real quick there's a bunch of guys right here so my thing is uh, a cloak this uh, diminishes unwanted addition well never mind it didn't work at all uh, that's bullshit the bamish what the hell is this i had my cloak on and these guys literally saw me right away is it because of my blonde hair or something and because I'm a tall uh, I'm tall and I've got blue eyes I don't know I think I stick out like a, a sore tongue boys the hell is this yeah, the cloak did not work at all I had to punch my road to this place the hell is this get out of get out of conflict to interact yeah, what did the fuck did these guys want with me man I thought I was, be uh, was gonna be good guess not maybe I, I just got too close to them there we go I did unlock a couple of special uh, abilities as well while I was uh, doing my thing. All right, now I can interact. That shit was garbage. You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor form, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Let's go find Sigurd for real this time around. Well, obviously we weren't going to be able to kill him. I mean, we're in a different town. It's not even our town. I mean, we are invited here. We start killing people. What is this? We can't be acting like this, boys. That's for sure. That's the wrong way to act when you are invited. You can't just kill people out of nowhere. Right, let's just uh, go ahead and see what Sigurd is all about. Is he in the tavern? I don't think he is. I think he's in the next building um, over there or past that fortress. Maybe I can uh, climb it. Because you can't climb about anything in this game. Never mind. Oh, actually, I might have found a way, boys. Hold on. To that post. There we go. Take that branch right there. That's uh, right there. And jump. Ah, just like that, guys. I found it. Found my way in. Right, where's the... Uh, there we go. Where's the objectives? Over there. Like I said earlier, man, there's not a lot to explore in this game uh, so far, at least in Norway. Maybe there's going to be a lot more. I hope there's going to be a lot more in uh, in the other one, where once we're in England and all. These guys look a lot tough, uh, tougher than uh, than me for sure. Can't even attack them. You see the the red stuff, the red uh, bar. still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arms near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but 
but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Joe. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this north. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Backlout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wolf kissed. You are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Oh shit, it's up to me to choose his fate. Banish, kill, or decide? Or I let him decide. You know, he is the king. He's the king, so I'll let him decide. All right, it's not up to me to make the choice. I think it's uh, much wiser to, for me to let the king decide. It's his choice. He's got the crown. Let him do his thing, boys. You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjar. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjorn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? warrior like you would be a boon to my clan I seek Valhalla I'm bound to Sigurd I do not know my fate I'm gonna be honest I actually don't know my fate I can't know for sure, sure it would be great to go to Valhalla boys but um, I am not gonna say I'm bound to Sigurd I am not bound to him whatsoever he might mean by he might be my brother but I have no uh, I have no reason to to stick with him if he goes bad. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. 
You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. I don't think the king appreciated my answer there. I might, probably should have said, told him that I wanted to go to Valhalla instead. But to be honest, I told him the honest option. <laughs> the real option, which is I don't know what's up to me. Remember that, that, that vision with that wish, right? She told me that uh, I was going to have a great future or something, but we don't know that for sure. We don't know that the vision actually means. Well, we're outside. We'll have to ah, figure out course. what our next mission is. He's already marking his territory. Marking? God, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Uh, let's see, we just leveled up. Uh, Seas of Fate, find and speak to Sigurd again. So we just gotta find him because he ran away or something. Uh, let me see my skill points, what do I want to use. I don't want to use poison. This is ability damage, melee critical. Oh, I might go um, want to go that path to assassination damage. Actually, that's really good. A uh, range. Let me go assassination damage, boys. Opens a, a, a branch for us as well. I'm gonna keep going for the damage though as well. So way of the bear, a uh, bear, uh, gives a bonus to all bear aligned gear. Well, I don't give a fuck about that. I don't know what that means, boys. Heavy resistance critical. What about this melee? Let's just go for melee. I mean, I'm just going to focus on the stuff that I know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, Seas of Fate. Yeah, sure. Let's go uh, and find out where he is. Okay, uh, I think he's in that area. Okay, so he might be in that area where, where we are. Apparently, there's also some forge, forging stuff and, and all. I'm kind of interested uh, what they could offer me, boys. So let me see really quick. Apparently, there's a swordsmith right here. Maybe I can talk to him and I'll see what he, uh, he can, can offer I me. Uh, uh, let me see your shop. There we go. See what you're offering me, buddy. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Because the uh, swordsmith is the one that upgrades your gear and everything, right? So I can actually enhance the quality because I do have one carbon in hot. And actually, I might do that because of my uh, on my helmet. I might need it for my helmet, boy. So I'm going to do that for sure. There we go. Almet is better now. That's fantastic. So at least there's that. I still haven't um, like gotten any nickel or any tungsten, boys. So I don't know exactly how to get Do those, to be honest. Else? No, I think I'm good. I got everything I, I needed. I can't can upgrade I anything will. else. So let me just get out of here. What about the other one? I saw, I saw someone else that could uh, give me something. Let's drop down, I guess. Drop down like last time. Okay, there we go. And just like that. Uh, we're about to drop down as well. Just like this. Let, j just drop down. Just like that. All right. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet all. Give me a chance to... There he is. What's going on here, Sigurd? Two days ago... We rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothro have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. 
A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It's within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Oh, do we take the resources or we do we leave in uh, over here, boys? I think we were be better off with the resources, but I don't see we would make an enemy out of Arald. I don't want to make an enemy out of the king. I think he's right. I think we gotta uh, like try on our own, right? Redo another. Uh, we're gonna have plenty of raids anyways, so I think he's right. For now, you're right, buddy. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Yeah, he'll have enough cargo for us anyways. Cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Well, it looks like we're gonna we're about to get ready to get out of this uh, of Norway and just invade uh, England, I guess, boys. Start a new world in England. That's uh, gonna be interesting. Well, that's where it leads off, I guess. I was wondering how we were gonna get there in the first place. Uh, seems to be good. I mean, I'm excited, boys. Move on from different lands. All right, so there's Sigurd. Let's uh, go ahead and get prepared. Uh, I think I'm ready. I don't have anything else to do in these lands anyways, right? Yeah, I don't really have anything. There's a bunch of like gold stuff, but I still don't know how to get those. I don't feel like uh, I want to waste my time trying to get those anyways. I feel like there's more, uh, much more riches waiting for me in the new Everyone world. Well, not the, really in the new world, we but England. Delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure, as is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am. It's time to go. I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance is past. Look. Who is this? Flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agir bless your voice. I'll do my best to keep him in touch. Don't worry. Uh, raw materials. 
Let's move out, boys. It's about to. Uh, it's about time we go out to the, that other world right here. Let's uh, move out from the north and get into the south or the the west a little bit more right here. What's that camera? Holy shit. Uh, I was about to say, man, what the hell is that camera uh, right there? I, I couldn't see anything. Uh, Thor is going to help us out. All right, then. And the game officially starts. Well, would you look at that, boys? Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, we knew for a fact that uh, England was to be the main place. I was surprised that we were starting in Norway, but then again, we are Vikings after all. Oh, it looks like we're going back to Leila. Finally. About them time. I was about to, uh, to you know, wonder when we were going to come back to actually the main character, the... The main menu or the, I guess, the, the modern character and stuff like that. We haven't really focused on her on Odyssey at all, actually. Odyssey was really not an Assassin's Creed game, to be honest, boys. at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Ooh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? So I'm guessing this right here, boys, is the the burial site of our character of Avior. Let's examine I'm really quick. Home, Avor. Ah, I knew it. Mm. So this is Avor right here, boys. At least she had it up here. So now. Here's what we don't know. Are we in England or in, are we in Norway? I'm guessing we are in Norway. It looks more like Norway than England right here, but uh, you never know. Let's look around, boys. We get to play as Layla, uh, Layla a little bit, so it's kind of cool. Focus. Beautiful. But it's not normal. 
It's not? I don't know about that. I mean, maybe it's not. I don't know, boys. Okay, let's go inside the... the I want to explore everything, but right now I, 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 don't, I just don't see exactly what we're supposed to do. Play. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. We're still on that 2012 uh, type of bullshit that uh, the end uh, of the world happened or something like that, boys? I don't know. We might be still in that timeline or something. I don't know. But uh, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy this one. Keep it easy.